There's so much junk. Welcome back everyone. Today is day one of packing for the new houses. My glasses are filthy. Although right now we are not packing. I'm sitting in the Target drive up because I guess I'll talk about this more later in the vlog when I do it. But I have decided to use a more clean deodorant. So I'm here at Target to pick up the Aztec clay mask that you can like put on your whole body and your face, but you can put it on your underarms and it'll help the detox process go a lot faster and be a lot more bearable. I don't know if any of y'all have detoxed from your deodorant, but y'all, it is rough. I smell like a stray cat and like I'm showering, but by the end of the day, it's a mess. I know I'm being hard on myself. My husband said I don't smell, but I just feel like I do because I haven't put deodorant on. I did order a new deodorant. It's by Necessaire. I was influenced by Rachel Parcell, I'll admit that. Oh, my order is here, hold on. All right, so she just brought my order. But like I was saying, I was influenced to um, use this particular deodorant. It hasn't gotten here yet. So in the meantime, I don't wanna put on like my regular deodorant and defeat the purpose. So I've just been out here like a feral animal. Luckily, we're still isolating and social distancing, so it doesn't really matter because no one smells it but my kids, and, and they can't really tell me. But what we're at Target to get is this um, Indian healing clay. I saw this um, on Instagram and on YouTube, and this is not sponsored, I just bought this. But supposedly, if you mix this with some ACV, which I just got as well, they didn't have brags, but they had some organic kinds, so I figured that would work. If you mix that together and put it under your arms, it should help the process, so. We're gonna go do that later today. Anyway, uh, I had to go to a Target not near where I live in order to get it because I'm all about that instant gratification. So we're about to take a 30 minute drive home and then I guess we're gonna start packing. And this is the beginning of it. We are T minus, I can't remember how many days, but around two weeks from the move. So this is it, it's crunch time. We made it home. I am about to start going through all of this stuff right here. So this. All of this that you see was pulled out of our guest room closet. My philosophy pretty much for packing and determining what's going to the new house and what's staying is like, just throw everything away. Like I just don't care about this stuff. I don't look at it. I haven't touched it. Why am I taking it to the next house? All of this luggage is going. Like all of this can go in the trash. We are not using this. When we travel, we don't even use this. Like we have nicer luggage. So why are we holding on to this? Same with these. We just don't use them. These sombreros are from Bash's first birthday party. Like I didn't even know we still had them. In here, underneath more stuff we don't need, is just like, I guess I can keep these pens for arts and crafts, but like, what am I gonna do with that? I'll keep the construction paper. I just don't understand how we ended up accumulating so much stuff and it's kind of frustrating. We found an iPad in there that no one was using. I don't know. I'm just about to just get a big trash bag and dump it all. Bash is in his room. I just put him down for a nap because it is almost three o'clock and he still hasn't had one. He'll have a little short one today. And Miss Margo is gonna lay in here in this messy playroom and watch me. While I run down and get a trash bag, I guess I can give you guys an update on what's been going on since the last time I've been on my channel, which hasn't been much because we are still social distancing, which is why I haven't been filming because there's just nothing to film but me literally at home doing nothing with my kids. We aren't going out that much. We did get to see my mom and her fiance. They came up and visited. So the week that I filmed where we showed Brennan's parents, the following week was Father's Day and then the week after that my mom came. But I didn't really want to film like a sim like a same video over again but either way I was able to see her and that was nice I'm wearing the same outfit that I wore in that video that you guys have seen Ooh, the lighting is the same gray outfit that you guys have seen me wear a thousand times during quarantine what else has happened we've gotten a lot of home stuff in I think I showed that in the last vlog and there was something else I wanted to tell you I don't know I'll think of it later anyway got my big giant trash bag and I'm just going to uh, go through all of this and get rid of it. Mm -hmm. 
Why? Why do we have this? So I have you guys sitting on one of the boxes and I just found this. This is my college diploma from Valdosta State to prove that I did in fact graduate with a bachelor in fine arts in mass media and my focus was broadcast news. And even though I am not on an anchor desk somewhere, I am utilizing a lot of the skills that I learned while I was in college. Don't mind my nails, by the way. I need to get some more press-ons because I'm still not going to the nail place. Even though I'm not using my degree, I do in fact have to use a lot of the skills that I learned while I was there to do my YouTube channel, which is nice. So like I took an editing class. I didn't do it to prepare for YouTube, but it's definitely come in handy. <sighs> There's so much junk. I'm just looking around through this box. There's just so much junk. Here's another tablet. I don't even know what this is. It's an Amazon, so this must be a Kindle. It's going in the trash. emptied the box and it had a lot of junk but it also had a lot of stuff I can keep for the kids arts and crafts section in the new house so there's like paper bags balloons because we definitely have Bash's birthday coming up so I, I'm gonna save some of these there's a whole box of crayons in here that have never been used and then some masking tape so I figured huh we need to keep that found tissue paper which I used for his party but that can be used for crafts with Margo and then in here I need to still go through this box but I can put a lot more of the arts and crafts stuff and that will be my first packed box so guys it's the next day I had to stop filming abruptly yesterday because the kids just like did a 180 on me and went nuts and then I couldn't film after they went to sleep because Margo is still in our room and filming after like 7 p.m. is a no-go we have to whisper in our room since she sleeps in here with us still so once we get to the new house that will not be a problem she will be going to her own room but until then, we just gotta kinda make do with what we have. But I've gotten a lot done as far as what I showed you yesterday. So we're just gonna pick up the packing. I also tried the detox mask on my face last night. So I'm gonna do that um, today with you guys since I didn't get to do it yesterday. And yeah, and just see where the day takes us. Are you ready? Let's go. Here from yesterday, just to give you an idea of what I've done, I've consolidated everything we are going to keep into these two boxes this bottom box I actually need to go get a sharpie and mark what's going into where but the bottom box has like my printer and youtube stuff that i don't think i'll need between now and the week after next like my voiceover microphones and things like that i don't i just won't film that type of video this is all of the kids arts and crafts stuff that i showed yesterday this is a giant trash bag it's the second one so the one that you saw me filling earlier in the video from yesterday is already outside on the curb because today's trash day and then these are empty boxes my house is a disaster like everywhere we turn there is stuff like I think we've just given up on trying to keep things together <laughs> it's a mess these are gonna go to Goodwill but I need to probably go through them just to make sure we didn't leave anything behind we're pretty good about emptying our suitcases but you just never know but first I need to get the sharpie and mark those boxes because if I don't I'll forget and yeah that won't be good i'm also on a bit of a time crunch sebastian has his virtual speech therapy today you guys may remember seeing that in my last video he was miserable through it because i had to wake him up for it this time i'm being mindful of the clock it is one o'clock speech is in an hour so i'm going to let him sleep probably for another 15 to 30 minutes if he doesn't wake up on his own and then get him up get lunch and try to like get him ready so that he's in a better mood before that starts
So the suitcases were clear. I just had to cut off all of the airline stuff. This actually is really cool because this was my luggage tag, kind of like what this would be. But when I flew with the Falcons to the Houston Super Bowl a couple years ago, that flight was one of the first flights that I'd ever taken where I didn't need to have a boarding pass. I felt so cool. Like you could not tell me a thing. That was the first time like I'd ever just walked up onto a plane and didn't have to go through the airport, didn't have to go through like anything i just got on the plane that was my luggage tag but my boarding pass i kept it it was just like it was about the size of a business card it was about the feel of a business card and it literally was handwritten and just said boarding pass on it with my name and like the date like i felt so cool you couldn't have told me a thing that day but anyway memories i'm stopping to make his lunch oh i just remembered what I forgot to tell you yesterday when I was trying to update you on what's been going on in my life. So, uh, postpartum hair loss has begun. I have lost my hair here and under here. I'm not even gonna show it to you because I am bald. Just right here at my temples on both sides. So I'm like trying to keep this down here <laughs> so y'all can't see it, but y'all know how it goes. And it happened with Bash and now it's happening again with Margo, except his didn't start till like right after six months. I'll pick you up in a minute. And hers started at five months. She just turned five months like a week ago. But yeah, so that is what I wanted to update you guys on too because if that is happening to you, I feel your pain. about to be three o'clock we just finished speech therapy margo is asleep down here in the pack and play and bash is upstairs in the playroom listening to music which is his favorite thing to do right now so i'm going to get started unpacking the consoles don't judge my dying peace lilies they just need to be watered and they'll come back to life i just need to kind of go through the shelves and decide what we're taking what we're not i'm sentimental and would love to keep the moss r from our wedding but like i have nowhere i would put that and i don't care about it anymore i just know it's from our wedding so i kind of want to keep it we're keeping the flowers this is going to go somewhere um not sure where brandon's going to put that but we're taking that this we are taking the decanter set but we're not taking the tray that it's on that can go in the trash um, I also just called Brennan and asked if he wanted to keep the unity sand and he said it's not necessary and I didn't feel like it was either but of course another wedding thing so I didn't want to get rid of it. So I'm gonna tackle this another day. I haven't decided if I'm going to take this with us or sell it. It's still in great condition. I may spray paint it though and then put it in Margot's room as something not a bar cart. I'm just kind of over the displaying alcohol even on a bar cart type of thing. It's just not something I like anymore. But we have a butler's pantry in the new house and all of our alcohol and things like that will go in there. Speaking of, our new crate and barrel glasses for the new house got here because I'm getting rid of pretty much all of the wine glasses we have as well. I'm so excited about these. So this is the white wine glass. The red wine, I'm gonna grab it out because we actually have some red wine today that um, we're gonna drink. I think this is the tour range from Crate and Barrel. I just love how these look. I think it's elegant and they're a little bit like cooler than just like the regular circular wine glasses that you would typically find. The ones that like we're getting rid of basically. Let me find the red wine one. Brandon, yeah. how gorgeous is this? He said this is what girls like. This is stuff that girls like. You better believe it. This is gorgeous. I still like my mason jars. You're not drinking wine out of a mason jar, though. He's like, I still love my mason jars. Good gosh. You can drink cocktails out of that. But I got us new cocktail glasses, too. Those will be coming soon. I love that. I love this shape. It's just modern and beautiful. Yep. So we're celebrating tonight. And we're gonna It is Aztec clay time, and I'm talking 
a little bit lower because Margot is asleep in my room. Anyway, it is actually a few days later. This turned into accidentally a weekly vlog, but that's fine. But I wanted to share this with you in this video. So this is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, the world's most powerful facial. I showed this on my Instagram the day that I bought it. And a lot of you guys were in my DM saying that this is like a miracle worker for you. And just a quick disclaimer, like this is not an ad. I bought this off my own back, but obviously before you start using anything, maybe talk to a doctor before you do. Just, you know, so that you didn't say, Krista told me to get it and then some bad happened. But a lot of you said that you have used this stuff and it was a miracle worker. A lot of you said you use it on your adult acne and it took it away. And I was like, well, where was this when I was pregnant? Because I needed it. A lot of you said that you use it in your hair as a hair mask. But today we are just gonna do apple cider vinegar and a little bit of water and it's just equal parts. It also said online to make sure that you don't use metal. So not a metal bowl or a metal spoon. So I just use my kids stuff because we're actually getting rid of all of this stuff and we bought new stuff for them anyway. So why not? I'm still going deodorantless. It's been about a week now that I've had no deodorant and I don't advise it, but hopefully this is gonna help make the transition into the new deodorant that still is not here yet a lot easier. I would suggest laying a towel down just to make things a little bit cleaner later because it gets all over your countertop and then you gotta clean it up. I think I'm gonna do two scoops because I'm going to put it on my face today and under my arms. Once you put it under your arms, you kind of have to keep them up so that the air can let, you know, the clay start drying. So. I'm gonna get you through this part with me and then I'll probably end the video here. And of course I just spilled it all over the floor. There we go. I started putting it on my face and then I realized I didn't show you, but inside of here, it just looks like this. They say get it to the consistency of like yogurt. It tells you exactly on the back how thick it should be, but when I did this before, I just kinda did a layer like this. few things you want to kind of make sure you're doing it relatively quickly so that it all dries at the same time it says depending on your skin type how long you should leave it on I did a full 20 minutes because my skin isn't necessarily sensitive and it, like I don't feel like I saw like a total change in my skin but I haven't done this enough to see like a full skin change my skin's really not that bad to begin with but um, I did see that it cleaned my pores out really well and after I saw that my pores were wide open I splashed my face with really cold water also this doesn't smell good this legit smells like easter eggs because of the vinegar like it stinks it's, it's not like a disgusting smell but you definitely are gonna smell like vinegar but anyway i'm gonna do my underarms now so i'm gonna keep filming but i'm gonna say goodbye to you now because this also gets very oh another tip it gets very tight when it dries you're gonna barely be able to speak what i learned because when you start trying to take it off it's gonna hurt because it's literally dried clay onto your face i i took a washcloth and i wet the washcloth and just laid it over my face just to get all of the the hard clay damp and then after that it didn't hurt and i was able to scrub it off completely but yeah all right well thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna keep filming and do my underarms and then i'm gonna go take a shower i'll see you in the next one Ooh, yeah we forgot won't you stay